All right, boys in tech, we are back with the one Brayden Bowman. Brayden, how are you? I'm great. Okay, so you're like the sexy ginger. Yeah. Can I say that? Is that okay? You're like the only ginger like ah. star. Do you get that a lot? Uh, no. Beautiful blue eyes. Thank you. I'm flirt with you for a minute. That's fine. You didn't do that until the camera came on, though. No, of course oh, I so did. That's so you make me smile. Of course. Yeah. Of Hello. course. Yeah. All right, so you went on today, and we actually shot some of your performance. It was absolutely stunning. Thank you. You have a really unique style. It's very like '90s. Yeah, I'm a '90s baby. You're 93. You're 22. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm 22 years old. Stop. Yeah. You're a fetus. I'm a baby. Still okay. in the womb, really. Still in the womb. So how do you define your music? Because it was truly something original. It's pop music, just pop music that you have never heard before. Yeah. You know. That's I have. You can call it '90s R&B influenced electronic pop music. But that's just because like label people are really annoying. They're like, define your sound. <laughs> Tell us what it is. And I'm just like, like fuck off. Yeah, literally fuck yourself. Okay, so you're 90s, right? But you were born in the 90s. And I grew up in the 90s. Like, what are some of your musical influences from the 90s? Like, who do you love? Um, I mean, my like really, really serious influences are Stevie Wonder, Amy Winehouse, and Beyonce. Yes. But then that's sort of like the foundation for my, I'm a gay boy. What do you mean? I was crying over every Britney Spears track that ever existed. <laughs> like, what is it like putting your work out there? Um, I started out independent as a motherfuck. Just like the first collection of songs I ever wrote, I just put them out and like let them live. It is honestly, all my stuff is autobiographical. And in some way, sorry, but it is the most like healing thing ever. Just yeah. to like be honest and just like throw it up and just leave it there, you know what I mean? And let it let people take from it what they will. But until like three or four years ago, swore up and down I was never gonna make music. Really? So I was just like, a, I was a singer, yes. I was like, I'm definitely gonna sing, but uh, yeah, I was a listener. I was like a student first, you know what student I mean? Student first. Yeah. You're not anymore. That's really, really. Okay, no, okay. All right, so like, what are you? What, okay, so you you have an album. It feels like an, an EP. album. Oh, well, I made it as an EP, but now it like feels like an album, and I'm honored that people are like, "Oh, this is like feeling like an album. This feels weird." That's a big deal. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It, yeah, it's like a year and a half in the making now. Wow. Yeah. The best thing that we always ask is, "What is your favorite app that you're using right now, on your iPhone or your Android?" I have and always will be a Twitter demon. So if you want to talk to me or like be my friend or find my shit. Twitter. And where can we follow you on Twitter? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Everything is my birth name. Same shit it says on my birth certificate. Brayton, B-R-A-Y-T-O-N, Bowman, B-O-W-M-A-N. Awesome. Well, Brayton, Brayton, thank you. See, I even fucked I that up. I say my name wrong. I say nice Brayton. Can you believe that? I love that. Anyways, well, thank you so much for talking to us. Stick around. We got more in store for you right here on Boys in Tech.